Hey, this is Keith Henry here at Coppin State University. I am here with Christina Epps, the first woman from Coppin State to qualify for the Olympic Games. In the triple jump, Christina, it's been one heck of a summer for you. Um, let talk talk about talk about your your process of uh first first going over to um Oregon and qualifying. It it had it had to be some uh. It, it was it was it was very interesting. You went through the first couple jumps that was foul, and came to that third jump. You know you needed to get something in order to uh, progress. Um, talk talk about the talk talk me through those things. Well, um, you know, leading up to Rio, it, it, I was um, you know feeling good. Um, uh, fouled a lot throughout my season, so when you saw those foul, first two fouls uh, in competition at trials. That was something I had been working on, trying not to do all season. And, um, you know, it, it happened again, first two, and on the third one, um, you know, I just, uh, you know, went for something safe to get me into finals. And uh, I got a safe jump on the books. And uh, as I went into finals, you know, I asked God to grant me peace. And, um, uh, uh, give me peace in my, my mind so that I can go down on the runway and perform to the best of my abilities. Um, what what did what did coach tell you after those first three fouls in order to help you out? I, I know she had to uh, mm -hmm. have mentioned a few things. Absolutely. Uh, she was the one to tell me, um, you know, calm down, relax. You put a safe one out there. Um, you don't need to jump big at this point on my third on, on that third jump, so um, I took that information in, and you know, just just went for the safe one. Um, on the jumps four through six, especially we'll, we'll just we'll probably have, I don't want to skip four. Just talk about that fourth jump and what led to that all important uh, fifth jump. Well, um, four four was me just just trying too hard. I went down the runway and um, tried to force some things, and it didn't work out well. Um, so when I got to the fifth, you know, I knew by me trying hard, uh, I wasn't going to get the result that I wanted. So in that moment, um, I had to pray to my Lord and Savior and ask Him to give me peace because uh, He's the one that's brought me this far, and um, it was in His will that I was going to make the seat. And jump number five. I did admit I was bouncing off the walls yeah. when I found out it was 14 17. Yeah, yeah uh, 14 17, uh, the best I've gotten on the books this season, at least. Um, I, I, I know I'm confident I can go further, um, but very happy with the result and very, that, very happy that, um, you know, um, I, I, I learned and I saw that God's, God's delay. Uh, Delayment doesn't mean he's denying me, and uh, and I saw that in that moment, um, you know, that he uh, he had a plan for me, and uh, I was able to achieve that. Now you you've went through a lot, mm -hmm. especially 2012, when we talked about this even a couple years ago. Yeah. You when when you got when you got hurt, and you had I didn't know at that point you had. Yeah, your mindset on 2012 Olympic trials. Yeah. But again, like like you were saying, delayed is not denied. It's right. just at that point. What what were you what were you thinking at that point that led to what happened in in Oregon and that and that jump and everything starting to go well for you? Um, you know, in 2012, uh, I always cried to God, why me, why me, and why me? Um, you know, as I've grown grown older. I've learned I need to stop doing that. Um, you know, I, I feel like this calling, this is a calling um, God has, has brought me to. Um, and, um, you know, whatever his will and his way is going to be is, is what it's going to be. And uh, I lean on that to the fullest. And, uh, you know, I, I, I got out of my own mind. And when I came off that injury, I worked the hardest I've ever worked before. Uh, rehab was the hardest um, thing about training in that year. Um, 
So I, I, I felt if I can get through that, I can get through anything after. Um. So when you when you got it, I know I, I saw the video. You were excited. You were on your knees thanking God. Um. Just talk about God bring you all all this way, going through them trials, going through everything like that, and just see, just seeing the fruits of fruits of your labor, the fruits of the prayers prayers of so many. Because I know it's not just you; it's yeah, but it's your family, it's your co it's coaches, it's everybody. Yeah. Uh, I. Uh, funny thing was that. Uh, in that moment, when I on that fifth jump, uh, I felt like you know so many people were praying for me, for my family, friends, Coppin State University family, and my hometown family um, were praying for me so much that God had to answer that call. Um, so I I, uh, I thank all those people. I, I appreciate the support, um, you know, for for never you know giving up on me and um, pushing me, um, especially my coach. To, to my dreams um, and, and believing in me more than I believed in myself. Um, and and that's the type of support you need to be successful. Um, and, and I definitely have that support here at Hoppin State and um, from my hometown and definitely from my, from my coach. Um, you said a couple years ago also coaches like your second mom. Yeah. Y'all had y'all had y'all Y'all go through a lot like mom and yeah, daughter. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, the goals the goals been met mm -hmm. to get there. Yeah. Um, just talk talk about that that relationship with Coach with Coach Shields and how, how that has flowered and has developed even through a couple years ago when we talked. Yeah, um, you know, as I've gotten more mature, she's she's taught me a little more and gave me a little more insight and wisdom on life. And in track and field, uh, she has been my rock, my shoulder to cry on. Um, you know, my person to argue with at times, but um, she she means a lot to me. And um, you know, when I was a hard-headed freshman, she didn't give up on me, and um, and I thank her for that. Um, and hopefully, as I grow older, I can um, you know help some. Some other hard-headed freshmen um, grow into excellence. And speaking of that, you're you're gonna be coaching the jumpers come, coming coming up. Yeah, I, uh, I actually am supposed to coach the jumpers next year, happen and um, help assist in that. Uh, we'll see where it goes. Um, I'm sure I'll be able to help assist in that. Uh, we'll see where it goes, and hopefully, I can inspire them to um, you know perform to the best of abilities and work hard and um, you know realize that it doesn't matter where you go. Uh, Coppin State University can bring the heat just uh, like any other uh, university out there. So um, I need, I, I really want to instill Coppin pride into them um, as they, you know, grow um, here at Coppin. And like you were saying, you you wanted to kind of pay it forward in a way. Absolutely. I know this, this this has to be a way to do that. Yeah, um, you know, giving back to, um, you know, Coppin, um, any way I can uh, is definitely a goal of mine. Um, they've done so much for me. Um, I definitely want to get back to the incoming um, student athletes and, and students, um, whoever is in, inspired by my story, and uh, hopefully they can uh, realize, man, I can do it too. Um, you you went to world championships. You you know about the competition. You yeah. know it's going to get more fierce. Um, What's your approach to to that? What have you learned from those world championships you uh, competed in now to get to this point? August thirteenth, I believe. Yes. Your, your event starts and it it gets real. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, in in the two world championships I've been in, um, in Beijing and uh, in Portland and for indoors, um, I was very confident in myself that uh, I could make the finals. Um, I was one spot off of making finals in indoors and, uh, and outdoors in Beijing. I got hurt, but, um, you know, I, I, I still had a pretty pretty good jumps um, that I filed uh, that would have put me into finals. So I'm pretty confident um, that I can go in, and that's my goals. 
uh, to make a final, um, have fun and not put too much pressure on myself. I think um, uh, I, I, my training's at a point where I can do really well um, as long as I stay healthy and, you know, have fun. And I know I, I know you're going to probably have to uh, jump a little more than you have and re reach, another, reach another personal record in order to kind of compete with the best in the world. Um, what? How do you how do you try to push yourself to to that limit when you when you when it seems like you you're there? There's there's just a little more. Well, or, uh, what me and my coach talk about often is that consistency wins the race. Um, I fouled a lot this season, but I've consistently hit around 14 meters with those fouls, and we know that it's just. Making sure I put it on the books, and um, you know, um, you know, continue to do the same things I've done throughout the season, and um, you know, relying on uh, what I already know, not changing up too much, just you know, being confident and having fun, and the jumps will come. I don't have to force anything. It's um, it's there. It's there. So what is it? What is it going to be like walking in with the Olympic team and going through the Olympic ceremonies? Because very few in life have that honor to do what you're about to do in less than a month. Oh, man. Um, I think opening ceremonies is when it will really hit for me that, you know, I am an Olympian. Um, you know, it hasn't really hit me yet. Um, I'm excited and, and, and thrilled, but I think in that moment um, when I'm engulfing all of the opening ceremony, um, it'll um, you all, you already know since you had you had the meet and greets, and I'm sure your folks come up to you saying, "Yeah, how how do I get to your spot? How 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 do I get in the position you're in and like that? What what do you what do you tell the folks? Because it's it's not easy, obviously. Not, not at all. Um, my my career has been a lot of learning experiences and um. You know, sometimes I've had to learn the hard way, and um, it, 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 you open, you, you guide the path that you want to go on, and um, hopefully, you know, if, if it's their goal to be an Olympian, or, or if it's their goal just to be, um, you know, president um, of the, um, you know, a uh, 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 sack club, or, or, or anything like that, um, it, you, you, you have to uh, put in the hard work and do it from the beginning. Um, you know, I think I did and, and, and golf myself in hard work a little later on in my career. Um, I try to get away with a lot of my talent. Um, and, and I always, you know, say to myself, I just had to work a little harder um, when I was, uh, before I tore my ACL. And, you know, we, we wouldn't have known where I would have been. but. Um, Tearing my ACL was a blessing in disguise, and, and it gave me that drive and that passion to see that um, you know you can't just always get by on talent. You gotta you really gotta work for it. Um, what? Uh, final, final question. It's been one heck of a, it's been one heck of a summer. We like we said. Um, there's also something something spe something special going through. Uh, you're about to uh you are engaged and yeah. um yeah. just um talk talk about that briefly and how and how uh how this young man has uh inspired you in going through he's gone you've gone through that stuff with him and he knows what you've been right um he has been um you know next to coach shields hand in hand um, another support system of mine that i've constantly leaned on um He's, he's been there nights of pride and, um, you know, comforted me um, and, and, you know, driven me um, past, you know, baby me. Um, instead of baby me, you always, you know, um, you know, keep going. You have no excuses. Um, he's a no excuse guy. And I appreciate that, um, that push because sometimes I need that. Um, sometimes I need that wake up call. He's been that. He's been that for me. Um, you know, 
he's not only my fiance, he's my best friend. And um, we, we talk about everything. And uh, he, he's, he's been um, another guiding factor in, in this process. You know, always out at practices with me and anytime I need him, opening up this pit. And uh, he's, uh, he's been great. His name, his name, uh, his name is Shugo Emeka Chazor, um, and you'll see X Chazor uh, on my, uh, on my name in the future. <laughs> um, that, and one more, one more person, I, I can't, I can't forget her, that, and that's, and that's your mom. Oh, of course. Tell me about your, your mom. Yeah. Um, she, I know you, you told me she's been an inspiration too, and, yeah. You know, um, yeah, my mom has, has been a big inspiration in my life. She's been through so much um, and has been so strong and inspires me every day to uh, keep pushing. Um, you know, and despite what she's been through, she's never given up on God or anything. And she's constantly uh, been a prayer warrior for me and um, in this battle. And uh, she, uh, you know, she's she's another huge support system for me and the person I lean on and when I'm struggling and the uh, person I go to Bible verses, uh, for person I go to for Bible verses or not, I need some inspiration. So, um, yeah, of course I love my mom. <laughs> you heard her, folks. This is Christina Epps, yep. August 13th. August 13th. Triple jump in the Olympic Games in Rio, Brazil. Watch out for it, folks. This is Keith Henry reporting. Thanks so much, Christina, and God willing, we we will have to talk again when you come back and yes. you can talk talk to us all about your experiences. Yes. All right, folks. Till next time. God bless. And any any last words? Thank you.